Good evening, Philippines. Uh, welcome to General Assignment. On the show this evening is Assistant Secretary Tonisito Omali of the Department of Education. We'll be talking about the uh, contemporary concerns of, uh, of uh, students and parents, and especially because uh, classes uh, of school year 2013-2014 just opened. I'm your host, Miguel Hill. Okay, uh, ASEC, uh, how should I call you? ASEC Tonisito? Tony. Tony, okay. okay. Uh, you, your uh, thoughts on the opening of, uh, of classes? It's, a, uh, it's uh, as another school year, but uh, it's different in a sense no? because you're implementing uh, seriously now the K-12. Correct. So, so any, any particular challenges that uh, made this, uh, this year a little bit different, a little bit more difficult for DepEd? Well, uh, not really a little bit difficult or a little bit different because uh, Brother Armin's program, yung pinatawag namin uh, Oplan Balik Eskwela, uh, has always been very effective. Mm -hmm. uh, in our Oplan Balik Eskwela, we have this uh, communication uh, system where we establish a command center in the central office mm -hmm. replicated by all our divisions. They have their own uh, help desk, which uh, serve as the uh, office that will attend to all queries by our parents and our students. Lahat ng issues po, Miguel, tungkol sa pagbubukas ng paaralan. If we have students, uh, saying that we don't have any birth certificate, can we enroll? How, uh, why, why, why do we have to pay so much fees? Akala namin walang fees. All they have to do is to call this uh, hotline that we open. We always do this uh, during opening of classes. And somebody will attend to all their concerns immediately. Mm -hmm. And therefore, all concerns, whatever issues they may be, during opening of our classes are immediately addressed. That's why it's, uh, you know, uh, napakaganda nung... Uh, uh, pagbubukas ng ating uh, skwelahan nitong June 3. Before that, Miguel, we have this what you call Oplan Brigada Escuela, like yes. uh, a week before the opening of classes, mm -hmm. where, uh, uh, if you may, uh, Miguel, mm -hmm. uh, all our stakeholders, mga magulang, mga leader ng ating komunidad, nagsasama-sama, naglilinis ng ating mga silid-aralan, ng ating paaralan, inihahanda, gumagawa sila ng minor repairs, minor paint job, pinagaganda ang uh, ating mga paaralan. Kaya pagdating naman itong uh, pagbukas ng paaralan natin ng June 3, handang-handa na ang paaralan. Mm -hmm. That uh, makes uh, everything, uh, you know, perfect. Okay. I, I would think that every school year there are peculiar problems uh, that make uh, a school year unique. But then again, there are, uh, there are cyclical or more common problems that, uh, that tend to manifest themselves every year. So how do you rate DepEd's performance? How do you rate uh, the, the, at least the public school system uh, this time around, this uh, school year? Out of 10, 10 being the highest, mm -hmm. given or, or, all our limitations, uh, I'm talking the about the opening. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So. I would say nine. Uh -huh. yeah. Not so because I'm part with, uh, I'm, I'm a part of DepEd. Mm -hmm. Ma -ma Maganda po talaga ang uh, mga programa ng ating Seamless, kagawaran. Seamless, I guess, is the term. Opo. Alimawa po yung uh, early registration campaign po ng ating uh, kalihin, Brother mm -hmm. Armin Luiso. Napaka-efektibo po nito dahil Enero pa lamang po mm -hmm. ng uh, taong ito. At nung nakarang taon, ganoon din po ang aming ginagawa. Hmm. Tayo po yung may mahipit na kampanya na magparehistro na po ang ating mga mag-aaral. Nung araw, mm -hmm. hindi po kakaiba na ang ating mga anak papasok po yan, magpaparehistro on the day of the opening of classes. Mm -hmm. Yung iba po, a week or two weeks after, parang uh, wala po sa kanilang isip talaga ang uh, pag-aaral. Ngunit ngayon po, talagang hinihikayat natin sila. We have this uh, vigorous campaign for them to register early. And the idea there is we would like to know uh, what will be the needs of our uh, children so that uh, pagdating po nung uh, bukas po ng uh, pasukan, ay handa na po tayo. And that's, uh, that was really, really very effective. Paano nyo pinarating sa kamalayan ng, hindi lang ng estudyante, especially sa magulang nila na mag-register ng maaga? Sa ibang mga paaralan po, lalong-lalo na po sa mga lalawigan, ang ating pong mga punong guro, nakipag-ugnayan po sa mga punong barangay, mm -hmm. nagbabahay-bahay po sila. Iba-iba po yung paraan na, na pag-disseminate. Pag, uh, and of course, uh, weeks before the uh, early registration day, 
uh, we have uh, embarked on a massive uh, media campaign, information campaign. Okay, ngayong taon na to, in earnest, uh, ina-apply na itong K-12, to no? yung K-12 to program, is that correct? Uh, full swing na tayo ngayon sa K-12 to program, which is mandated by law. Tama po yun. Uh -huh. So, ano ang mga, ano ang mga pagsubok? Uh, what kind of challenges did, did this uh, bring? Because of course, uh, essentially, you're, as, you're uh, adding some two years no, to the to the uh, education cycle, is that, is that correct? Correct, correct. The challenges uh, right now that we are uh, uh, that we are confronted with is to address the current shortages in uh, our classrooms, mm -hmm. teachers, and uh, chairs, uh, books, and toilets. We have already addressed uh, to prepare for the additional resources that we're going to need. Uh, by the years uh, 2016 to 2018, when the first batch of grades 11 to 12 students will be coming in. Mm -hmm. Of course, there is the logistical uh, part of it, but there is also the, the uh, curriculum part of it, the, the teachers. H how ready are the teachers to make this transition? And, and the reason I'm asking ASIC, uh, Tony, is because uh, th there are certain changes or improvements done to the curriculum. One is that uh, the first two or three years, I believe, the the classes are taught in the native dialect of w whatever the dialect uh, in in the area of the school. So uh, th this I, I would uh, imagine requires a lot of adjustments. Maybe not uh, 180 degree turns, no, but uh, adjustments in as far as the books, the the, the textbooks, uh, the training of the teachers, or the the manuals. Yeah, tra uh, training of teachers. We uh, trained our. Uh, teachers in grades 1, 2, 7, and 8. Mm -hmm. 7 and 8, uh, yan po yung dati nating first year and second year high school. You don't call them high school anymore or you still do? Uh, we, we already call them right now uh, grade 7 and 8, yung, yung sa K-12. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the years where we are uh, implementing the new curriculum mm -hmm. uh, under the K-12 program. Hindi pa po para ho sa lahat, unti-unti po. So we started last year, school year 2012 to 2013, new curriculum under K-12 to for grades 1 and grade 7, that in first year high school. Mm -hmm. For this school year, grades 2 and grade uh, 8, that in second year high school. Uh, tuli po yan. That means yung third year high school po ngayon, uh, for this school year, they will still graduate uh, four years of high school pa lang po. Mm -hmm. And yung four year, uh, fourth year high school po ngayon, obviously, they will also graduate this year. Pero yung uh, incoming second year high school ngayon, next year, new curriculum for third year high school, we're calling them grade 9. That's uh, school year 2015 to 20... I'm sorry, 2014 to 2015. School year 2015 to 2016, new curriculum for fourth year high school. We're calling them grade 10. And then yung po yung sinasabi ko kanina na they will be the first batch of grades 11 to 12 uh, students uh, for school years 2016 to 2018. So necessarily, this is, uh, this is implemented by phases because of course... Correct, correct. Okay. And, and having said that, you talk about uh, instructional materials or books. Mm -hmm. Dahan-dahan din po yung uh, pangangailangan po natin ng uh, mga panibagong aklat alinsunod sa K-12. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, we, are, uh, we have finished uh, publishing uh, our modules, mm -hmm. learning materials for grades 1 and 7. Uh, we will complete all our modules for grades 2 and 8 uh, by next month. How does this affect the private schools, especially those that uh, already have the Kinder 1, Kinder 2, grade, ones to, uh, grade 1 to 7? in the four years of high school, of course. They have, they have to make adjustments. Yes, yes, they do. So, for example, we're talking about uh, Claret, for example. Mm -hmm. They have two years of uh, elementary education, seven years of, uh, I'm sorry, two years of preschool education, seven years of elementary education, four years of high school. So that's two, seven, four. Mm -hmm. In a way, that's already K to 12, or yes. 13 years of basic education. Two plus seven, nine plus four, 13. They adjust. That's how we, we were, di ba? Uh, in, in some of the private schools. Oh, yeah. La Salle, Xavier. So, uh, minor adjustments na lang. Minor adjustments na lang. Dahil uh, ang uh, mahalaga po rito, tinitingnan uh, sa K-12, for them to be considered K-12 compliant as we look at the age, the duration mm -hmm. of the uh, base, uh, number of years uh, for basic education and the curriculum. So, age, ito, Miguel, mabilis lang ito. Uh -huh. It's very important na ang preschool na kinoconsider namin is five years old. 
So okay. if you started with 3 years old, sabi mo K1 ka, 4 years old, K2, hindi pa rin yun yung tinatawag nating uh, kindergarten under the K-12 program. Kailangan mo pa rin mag-kinder ka at 5 years old, grade 1, 6 years old. So kids can start uh, studying at 5? Correct. Uh, but but, but nobody, will, nobody will stop them from uh, studying at 2. But that's not counted to sa K-12 natin. Uh, and then, mag a ngayon. Why get them to start at 5? So that they enjoy their first few years with their parents? Well, well yes, but uh, you know, it, it doesn't mean that uh, they don't need any form, uh, they, they don't need the uh, ed education or daycare. You know, the, uh, ang sabi ko ng pag-aaral, yan pong unang limang taon po ng uh, bata ang pinakamahalagang uh, taon. Formative. Kaya, yes. Tama po yun, kaya nga po ginawa po nating mandatory ang kinder. Nung araw, Miguel, all, all, all you have to be is a six-year-old sa public school natin and tatanggapin ka sa, sa grade 1. Imagine mo nung araw, Miguel, bago ang K-12. Anim na taon na elementary, apat na taon na high school. Yes. Six years old ka, uh, pwede ka nang tanggapin ng grade 1. Gagraduate ka ng 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Four years of high school, gagraduate ka ng 16 years old. Kakalabanin mo yung mga dumaan sa uh, pribadong paaralan na dalawang taon ng preschool, pitong taon ng elementarya, at apat na taon ng high school. 18 sila gagraduate, Miguel. So, Tapos lamang mag talaga? Ay, lamang na lamang. Okay. Ngayon, pantay na po sila. So, natin. out of curiosity, will you be mandating uh, say La Salle, Ateneo, or uh, San Beda to start teaching their their grade 1 to 3 students in, ta in Tagalog, purely Tagalog? Yes. Okay. Yun po yung uh, batas. They should be taught in our mother tongue. If, if the... Uh, the medium of instruction or yung majority uh, language, if you may, mm -hmm. being spoken by the students uh, is Filipino, then Filipino will mm -hmm. be their mother tongue. Don't you think that may uh, sort of uh, affect their edge, negatively affect their edge? Uh, because uh, a lot of these uh, private educational institutions uh, tout that their uh, one of their uh, the advantages of their students the the pluses if you may is that they speak uh, good I mean we're we're not talking about uh, a telenovela type English we're not talking about, but real uh, gr grammatical uh, correct English uh, th th there should be no problem because English is still being thought in uh, as a subject uh, yeah in, in, in and they're exposed to media no correct correct okay. correct. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, we are coming to you via delayed broadcast, but if you want to take part in our discussions, you can still text your questions and reactions to mobile phone number 0915-209-6012. So we will make sure that uh, the DepEd gets uh, or to, to send uh, whatever questions or reactions you may have to DepEd, in particular to ASEC, Tony, Umali. Uh, and uh, our, uh, we'll be right back after a few reminders. Don't go away.